Welcome back, guys, in the shop for another day on Martin James Designs. Another episode here. We're going to be getting this Thunderbike Customs fender all mocked up, uh, getting this thing installed, and so we can get ready to get the fender off the paint because I'm going to be doing the paint on the gas tank, both fenders and the shrouds here in the shop. So I'm starting to get ready for that, but I wanted to get the whole back end of the bike mocked up first making sure there was no uh, fabrication or any issues first before we painted. Um, so yeah, that's kind of what we're going to be doing on this episode. Uh, just kind of filling our time, getting the back end done and uh, mocked up. And then we'll do a little tour around the bike and let you guys know exactly where we're at and what's to come. All right, let's get to it. Okay, here's the rear fender from Thunderbike Customs that came. It's designed for a 200 and uh, it's going to be a low profile fender super heavy duty it comes with this bracket and all the hardware we need including the uh, led lights for the signals and brake light as you can see they're built in here so the first thing that i'm going to need to do is cut the rear struts off and grind them down and uh, start mocking this thing up Okay, the next step to install this fender is to measure an inch and a half back from the connection to where the shock bolt goes. And we're gonna cut these struts right off, grind them down, bevel them, and uh, then we'll get into mounting the bracket and figuring the rest out here. Okay, we got the fender somewhat mocked up. It actually went really smooth. They definitely have a good system. There was like no fabrication. I just had to drill one of the holes out a little bit bigger, but that's pretty much it. So now we're gonna get the uh, Burley Slammer suspension on here, uh, get all that mocked up. And I'm even gonna put this rear tire on and see kind of what we're looking like. And then uh, we'll be able to start thinking about getting this fender painted. So let's get to that. I just wanted to quickly point out some of my videos you'll notice some things have been done in a video already and then they're not in the next video it's because i'm trying to categorize these videos so it's like you watch the whole front end you watch the whole rear end go together the whole bit of paint and i think it's just easier to segment it that way so uh yeah just know that by the end of the episode they'll all be caught up each time so yeah i hope you guys are enjoying them and uh let's just get right back to this keep going Okay, we've gone with the 10 inch Burley Slammers. Um, for all you Dyna Bros out there that are all about suspension and performance, I'm just telling you right now, this bike is not that. This bike is more about style and we're going for uh, just a badass piece of art. So with that being said, we're using these Slammers. They're all black and they're gonna lower that rear fender to make it look uh, real tight to the 200 tire. So we're gonna mock these up. Okay, 
Okay, we got it all mocked up. We ended up using the shot covers. It really doesn't show them being used, but I think it's gonna look good this way. Got the burly slammers in. And now we're just gonna mock this rear tire up. None of the parts have been powder coated yet. I still gotta go through all of that, but we're gonna at least get this thing on and uh, make sure it all fits before we get the fender to paint. So pull this tire off for a sec. Okay, now, yeah. okay, throw that uh, tire on here. Okay, now the, the big spacer goes on this side. Now push that through. There you go. There you go. Perfect. Uh -oh. <laughs> what? Oh, that's not very much room there. Oh no, we can adjust the shocks though. Okay, I'm just, we're gonna, because if you look here, the fender's pretty tight to the tire and we, we can adjust this bracket a bit. So we're gonna probably put a shin in this bracket to lift it, but the, the shocks come as low as they go, these burly slammers, and I still have an adjustment here to raise them up to give a little more height clearance. So I'm just gonna do that. There we go. I'll do that on the other side and see if we can get some more height. Now that this thing's all mocked up temporarily, we got it uh, off, off the jacks. It's just sitting on its own. I did want to point out that this rear tire is actually a 180. They were on back order on the 200, so they sent us the rim with the, the tire on it. but. I need the 200. This fender's meant for a 200, so we're definitely gonna, I have the tire on order, and we're gonna switch this 180 out for the 200 as soon as uh, we get it. So by the time I get the fender painted and ready to assemble the rear end, it should be ready to go. Wrapped up for the day? Wrapped up. We got, we just did a full detail, got the shop all cleaned up. The rear fender's been mocked up, ready to go. We've decided now. We're gonna do a tank raise, two inches, lift this up here. And uh, yeah, our next step is to get to paint and finish powder coating the rest of the parts, which we have over here. There's not too much left, just this stuff. Uh, then we gotta paint everything. And uh, the, we need the exhaust and the Ford controls and some other small parts. And then doing all the wiring on the front end, so. We're getting pretty close. I mean, there's lots to do still, but it's looking like a bike. That's it. Shorter episode. Uh, that Thunderbike Customs fender went together way easier than I thought. I totally thought there was gonna be some more fabrication involved. Uh, but with that being said, we did a little tour around the bike, showed you guys where we're at. So we're gonna keep this one a little short. Stay tuned because the next stages are getting this bike painted, which I'm going to be doing here in the shop. And then we're going to be finishing the rest of the parts, getting the exhaust on, all the Ford controls. We've got a little bit of fabrication to do. And uh, yeah, we're just going to be doing all the wiring and the final components. So uh, I'm just going to keep the content coming, but make sure you guys subscribe. And uh, yeah, check out the videos and share them if you guys want. And I'm going to keep on building more bikes after this. I'm really feeling motivated. I got the new shop. I'm super excited about it. Uh, so with that being said, I guess I'll just catch you guys on the next one.